The Swift Programming Language 5.6 Edition, book copyrighted by Apple and made available under the Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International License. Memory Safety By default, Swift prevents unsafe behavior from happening in your code. For example, Swift ensures that variables are initialized before they are used, memory is not accessed after it has been deallocated, and array indices are checked for out-of-bounds errors. Swift also makes sure that multiple accesses to the same area of memory do not conflict by requiring code that modifies a location in memory to have exclusive access to that memory. Because Swift manages memory automatically, most of the time you don't have to think about accessing memory at all. However, it is important to understand where potential conflicts can occur so you can avoid writing code that has conflicting access to memory. If your code does contain conflicts, you will get a compile time or runtime error. Understanding conflicting access to memory. Access to memory happens in your code when you do things like set the value of a variable or pass an argument to a function. For example, the following code contains both a read access and a write access. A conflicting access to memory can occur when different parts of your code are trying to access the same location in memory at the same time. Multiple accesses to a location in memory at the same time can produce unpredictable or inconsistent behavior. In Swift, there are ways to modify a value that spans several lines of code, making it possible to attempt to access a value in the middle of its own modification. You can see a similar problem by thinking about how you update a budget that is written on a piece of paper. Updating the budget is a two-step process. First, you add the items names and prices, and then you change the total amount to reflect the items currently on the list. Before and after the update, you can read any information from the budget and get a correct answer, as shown in the figure below. While you are adding items to a budget, it is in temporary invalid state because the total amount has not been updated to reflect the newly added items. Reading the total amount during the process of adding an item gives you incorrect information. This example also demonstrates a challenge you may encounter when fixing conflicting access to memory. There are sometimes multiple ways to fix the conflict that produce different answers, and it is not always obvious which answer is correct. In this example, depending on whether you wanted the original total amount or the updated total amount, either $5 or $320 would be the correct answer. Before you can fix the conflicting access, you have to determine what it was intended to do. Note. If you have written concurrent or multi-threaded code, conflicting access to memory might be a familiar problem. However, the conflicting access discussed here can happen on a single thread and does not involve concurrent or multi-threaded code. If you have conflicting access to memory from within a single thread, Swift guarantees that you will get an error at either compile time or runtime. For multi-threaded code, use Thread Sanitizer to help detect conflicting access across threads. Characteristics of memory access. There are three characteristics of memory access to consider in the context of conflicting access, whether the access is a read or write, the duration of the access, and the location and memory being accessed. Specifically, a conflict occurs if you have two accesses that meet all of the following conditions. At least one is a write access or a non-atomic access. They access the same location and memory, their durations overlap. The difference between a read and write access is usually obvious. A write access changes the location in memory, but a read access does not. The location in memory refers to what is being accessed. For example, a variable, constant, or property. The duration of a memory access is either instantaneous or long-term. An operation is atomic if it uses only C atomic operations. Otherwise, it's non-atomic. For a list of those functions, see the standard atomic man page. An access is instantaneous if it is not possible for other code to run after that access starts but before it ends. By their nature, two instantaneous accesses cannot happen at the same time. Most memory access is instantaneous. For example, all the read and write accesses in this code listing are instantaneous. However, there are several ways to access memory called long-term accesses that span the execution of other code. The difference between instantaneous access and long-term access is that it is possible for other code to run after a long-term access starts but before it ends, which is called overlap. A long-term access can overlap with other long-term accesses and instantaneous accesses. Overlapping accesses appear primarily in code that uses in-out parameters in functions and methods or mutating methods of a structure. 
The specific kinds of Swift code that use long-term accesses are discussed in the sections below. Conflicting access to in-out parameters. A function has long-term write access to all of its in-out parameters. The write access for an in-out parameter starts after all of the non-in-out parameters have been evaluated and lasts for the entire duration of the function call. If there are multiple in-out parameters, the write accesses start in the same order as the parameters appear. One consequence of this long-term write access is that you cannot access the original variable that was passed as in-out even if scoping rules and access control would otherwise permit it. Any access to the original creates a conflict. Here is an example. In this code, step size is a global variable and it is normally accessible from within increment. However, the read access to step size overlaps with the write access to number. As shown in this figure, both number and step size refer to the same location in memory. The read and write accesses refer to the same memory and they overlap, producing a conflict. One way to solve this conflict is to make an explicit copy of step size. When you make a copy of step size before calling increment, it is clear that the value of copy of step size is incremented by the current step size. The read access ends before the write access starts, so there is not a conflict. Another consequence of long-term write access to in-out parameters is that passing a single variable as the argument for multiple in-out parameters of the same function produces a conflict. Here is an example. The balance function here modifies its two parameters to divide the total value evenly between them. Calling it with player one score and player two score as arguments does not produce a conflict. They are two write accesses that overlap in time, but they access different locations in memory. In contrast, passing player one score as the value for both parameters produces a conflict because it tries to perform two write accesses to the same location in memory at the same time. Note, because operators are functions, they can also have long-term accesses to their in-out parameters. For example, if balance was an operator function with this name, writing player one score balance player two, one score would result in the same conflict as balance player one score player one score. Conflicting access to self in methods. A mutating method on a structure has write access to self for the duration of the method call. For example, consider a game where each player has a health amount which decreases when taking damage, and an energy amount, which decreases when using special abilities. The, in the restore health method here, a write access to self starts at the beginning of the method and lasts until the method returns. In this case, there's no other code inside restore health that could have an overlapping access to the properties of a player instance. The share health method here takes another player instance as an in-out parameter, creating the possibility of overlapping accesses. In this example, calling the share health method for Oscar's player to share health with Maria's player does not cause a conflict. There is a write access to Oscar during the method call because Oscar is the value of self in the a mutating method, and there's a write access to Maria for the same duration because Maria was passed as an in-out parameter. As shown in this figure, they access different locations in memory. Even though the two write accesses overlap in time, they do not cause a conflict. However, if you pass Oscar as the argument to share health with Oscar, there is a conflict. The mutating method needs to write access to self for the duration of the method, and the in-out parameter needs write access to teammate for the same duration. Within the method, both self and teammate refer to the same location in memory as shown in this figure. The two write accesses refer to the same memory, and they overlap, producing a conflict. Conflicting access to properties. Types, like structures, tuples, and enumerations are made up of individual constituent values, such as the properties of a structure or the elements of a tuple. Because these are value types, mutating any piece of the value mutates the whole value, meaning read or write access to one of the properties requires read or write access to the whole value. For example, overlapping write accesses to the elements of a tuple produces a conflict. In this example, calling balance on the elements of a tuple produces a conflict because there are overlapping write accesses to player information. Both player information dot health and player information dot energy are passed as in-out parameters, which means balance needs write access to them for the duration of the function call. 
In both cases, a right access to the tuple element requires a right access to the entire tuple. This means there are two right accesses to player information with durations that overlap, causing a conflict. This code shows that the same error appears for overlapping right accesses to the properties of a structure that's stored in a global variable. In practice, most access to the properties of a structure can overlap safely. For example, if the variable holly in the example above is changed to a local variable instead of a global variable, the compiler can prove that overlapping access to stored properties of the structure is safe. In this example, Oscar's health and energy are passed as two in-out parameters to balance. The compiler can prove that memory safety is preserved because the two stored properties do not interact in any way. The restriction against overlapping access to properties of a structure is not always necessary to preserve memory safety. Memory safety is the desired guarantee, but exclusive access is a stricter requirement than memory safety, which means some code preserves memory safety even though it violates exclusive access to memory. Swift allows this memory safe code if the compiler can prove that the non-exclusive access to memory is still safe. Specifically, it can prove that overlapping access to properties of a structure is safe if the following conditions apply. 1. You are accessing only stored properties of an instance, not computed properties or class properties. 2. The structure is the value of a local variable, not a global variable. And 3. The structure is either not captured by any closures or it's captured only by non-escaping closures. If the compiler cannot prove that the access is safe, it does not allow the access.